Well, Indonesian police have detained three crew members from a boat carrying asylum seekers that sank on Tuesday, killing at least eight people. The small timber boat was overloaded with about 60 passengers when it headed into rough seas en route to Australia. Police say they're preparing a, a case for prosecutors and the crew could each face five years in jail for people smuggling and breaching maritime safety laws. Those who survived the tragedy have told the ABC how they feared for their lives and begged the boat's captain to take them back to shore. George Roberts sent this report. These are the men authorities are blaming. The three crew members could face years in jail for their part in a failed plot to take people to Australia. As they were interrogated, others searched the seas and survivors dealt with their devastation. It's a tragedy that's tested even the strongest of bonds. I lost everything. I lost my daughter, my life, everything. When the boat went down in choppy seas, Aziz Raza was separated from his family for four agonising hours. His wife survived, his daughter didn't. He'd paid 9,000 US dollars hoping for safe passage to Australia. The engine is broken down and when it's happening, we say to captain, go back, go back. We don't go, we don't want to go. Well, he said, no, no. Had the captain of the nine metre boat listened to the pleas of his 60 passengers, it might not have ended this way. We are saying to the uh, captain, please, please uh, go back. We don't want to go and die. We are, we are no, we are dying with this. The captain's response was tragically telling of what was to come. He said, uh, if you want to go back, you can swim to beach. Eight bodies have been plucked from the water. The last was this nine-year-old boy, a sight no parent can bear. Out there somewhere is one or two more that may never be found. After two days of unsuccessful searching, authorities are considering calling it quits. If we can't find any victims today, we might have to pull out all personnel. For the 48 asylum seekers who made it ashore alive, their future holds little certainty. They say they're still desperate to start a new life in Australia, but now they're in the hands of Indonesian immigration authorities. This isn't the life they envisaged. George Roberts, Late Line.